All right, welcome back everybody. I want to take time and talk about a game that I just played through for the first time here. I finished like two days ago. Mm -hmm. Lies, lies, lies. Big fat Canadian lies. Uh, we didn't play this game two days ago. That was filmed in July. It's now November. So yeah, we got a little bit behind. So just keep that in mind for your time framing. Just like what my mom says the other day, it could be any time between this very very moment in time and the day she was born. There's not even anything in this cup. I just kind of felt like I should be holding a cup. We don't even live in igloos. I'm just lying all over the place in Canada. We'll do a quick little review. Our typical seven categories. I know these reviews usually are saved for my computer. <laughs> I know Pronouncing that words. these reviews, I typically do these after community pick, but I played this one because this was one of those uh, day one purchases and I, I really wanted to try it out. I think when we found out about this game, you described this as the fighting game you always wanted to play. Absolutely. Yeah. And what I loved was it wasn't a full price game and then you got the steel book. Really cool steel book. Yeah. And then and the art, art of... And then three lithographs. Yeah. Anyway, what we're gonna do, Jen's gonna name off the category and then I'm gonna talk mm -hmm. and then she's gonna edit it all crap maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so first off, right off the bat, we always cover story because that's the most important part of any game, I do believe. So story, story is a vengeance story. Mm -hmm. Getting revenge on the uh, death of your father. So what happens is an old student comes to take this medallion that pretty much grants almost immortality. What happens is they go and they fight the kid's father and then they kill the kid, which is your character. But you happen to have, it's almost like a bracelet. It's a bunch of little charms on this thing and they bring you back to life. So they kill you, but you have that in your hand and then you come back to life. You grow up because you're a small kid at that time. Mm -hmm. As an adult, you're going to seek revenge. So I'm assuming you, you train your whole life. And what happens is you go and I think there's five different areas you're gonna fight so that it makes five different bosses. Okay. You're making your way through a building. There's a nightclub, there's a big office building okay. one. There's, I think there's a museum and then there's like a, what I would call like a huge traditional dojo, maybe, oh, okay. maybe a dojo. And while we're at it, Sifu stands for master? Master, yeah. Okay. The best way for me to describe this would be, I thought of three different movies that I would kind of compare this to. We'll go an old school one, um, Bruce Lee. I knew he was gonna say it. I was like, say Bruce Lee. Game of Death, where he's going into a building and he, I think each floor he's fighting a different guy there. There's like mm -hmm. different challenges and stuff like that. Kind of gave me, there's points in this game where I got that vibe. Then there's, uh, I don't know if this is an underrated martial arts kind of action movie, but The Raid. Okay. Where you're, uh, Don't know that one either. Yeah, well, you know, it's <laughs> not your genre, but that's the uh, same idea. They go into this huge apartment complex, mm -hmm. and it's run by a gang, and they they once they find out the cops are in it, they lock it down, so you can't get out. And basically, all the residents in the apartment there are gang members, okay. and they're all trying to kill you as you work your way up to try to get to the boss and arrest mm -hmm. them. So your entire SWAT team pretty much gets killed on the way there and you're down to like one or two guys I think at the end there and it's it's awesome. Quite the death tool. Yeah, it starts off with guns and stuff and then then Anyway, I don't feet. want to talk too much about that movie, but I got some vibes in that and then for more of a modern movie like if you like John Wick that oh, series okay. Now there are I've no guns. There are no guns in this. This is strictly kung fu. Hands and but I got those vibes where it's just guys coming at you and you're fighting them off, fighting them off. And yeah. They're surrounding you and like it's very much John Wick, but well, John Wick uses a lot more guns there. Yeah. Like, Story-wise, vengeance. Vengeance. You killed my father. Kung fu, <laughs> fighting multiple enemies. It's it's the beat 'em up, the kung. You. It's a movie that you can play. There you go. Yeah. Movie you can play. Difficulty. I. Going into this, I because I, I I'm originally more of a, a, a beat 'em up kind of guy. Yeah. And I love those beat 'em ups. And in our group here, if we're gonna play a beat 'em up game, yeah, I'm we'll kind of like, carrying. We'll follow your lead. Yeah, I'm yeah. carrying you guys a little bit. Can I be second though? 
You probably are. <laughs> Dennis, in your face! <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to start this thing off on normal and uh, kind of breeze through. Nope. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I actually, because Kung Fu is not my preferred style of fighting, I was getting my butt handed to me by the time I got to the second yeah. boss. I was just... Whoa. And what happens is um, every time you die, you come back, but you're a little bit older. That you're a little bit was older until you age out, and then you're done. That's what I loved about this game. When yeah. I don't know much about it, but the idea that if you die, you get a little bit older, a little yeah. bit older. I'm like, oh, well, you. So what I actually did is, I think I was into the second stage and got to the second boss, and I was like, I I'm. I think I was in my 40s or 50s at that point. I was like, there's no way I'm getting through this. Yeah. It is it is kicking my ass. So what I did is I restarted it. you know how 40s it. feel. I do. <laughs> I feel like I wake up in the morning and I feel like I'm ass kicked. <laughs> so so I restarted. I said, okay, I'm going to play it on easy. And I played it on easy. And since I played those first two missions, I, I kind of breezed through them. And yeah. then when I got to the next three... I, there was way more challenge. I, mean, I would suggest go easy, but maybe you'll want to blow right through it. I would go easy, play through the game. It's not a long game. No, it's not. So then you go could... back into it in normal there, because uh, you unlock moves as you go, right? Oh, yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. Gameplay. Gameplay is awesome. Um, gameplay is the highlight of the game. Oh, well, yeah. It's the combat. It's the fighting. By the time you get halfway through this game, you're going to realize that it's a lot of timing and basically being in the right area. You can maneuver all through the map. Like, you you can jump over tables and stuff. And, oh, nice. Yes. So like, everything's in play. Pretty much. There's things you can unlock. Um, there's weapons. We oh, weapons are amazing in this. <laughs> so you get a good weapon there. And, oh, like, there's like a steel pipe you can grab. That was one oh, of my favorite weapons nice. to grab and it's nothing more satisfying than going into a group of guys with a steel pipe they're beating the holy hell out of them. You can unlock different abilities. You can get these uh, these little statues on every level. Okay. Sometimes I think there may be more than one in every, in every level and then you can spend that to do things like if you are getting older and you're already ha only halfway through the game and you're in your 40s, well it, you can put it against taking five years back oh. off so you can get younger again there. Okay. Or you can up your skill levels, you can make your health bar higher. I was spending some of my money on my weapons because I was like heavy into the weapons. I was so yeah. heavy into the weapons that if I had a good weapon and I was going to a door, I would go in the door, drop the weapon, run back out, found another one, and went into that room. It was like, you got to fuck now. Yeah, I, got <laughs> I got two weapons now. <laughs> and then I know then after in uh, later into the game, you know, I unlocked another thing. Well, I unlocked two things because uh, like bottles and glasses oh, are in okay. play. They, pe they people throw them at you. Oh shit! So you can you can catch it and throw it back at them. And then there was another thing where, um, say, like there's a kind of like a little table or something yeah. in a bar that you put your drinks on beside your chair or something like that. You can you can kick kick that. I was pretty impressed with how I could use the environment. Yeah. Yeah, because you really have to. Because when you're fighting like ten guys, oh yeah, you, you have, have to, to use everything at your. You can't advantage. let yourself get surrounded, but you can get surrounded. They 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 actually put you in situations where you do get surrounded in a tight area. And that's where that all that kung fu, all the moves you unlock, that really all kind of hunts. Yeah, yeah. It, it, oh, it's so satisfying when you're like surrounded and then you're going back and forth and you're knocking guys out. And, yeah. I and bet. there's some pretty cool instant death stuff that you can do. Like you can kill oh, guys. So yeah. Okay. But it was some kind of uh, back fist, like strong back fist move that I unlocked. But when I had the machete in my hand, yeah. Because you'd hold your triangle, I think it was, to like charge it up, and then you timed it. So when if they start to move, you hit them right before you move. But if you had the machete in your hand, oh, you'd st stab them instant death. Drop the guy there and yeah. go on. It was pretty cool, like <laughs> stuff like that. I was just oh, so satisfying doing that stuff. Gameplay is the highlight. Yeah, absolutely. If you like those kind of movies and if you you like beat 'em ups and stuff like that, like get into this. Yeah. What about the graphics? Graphics are good. They're okay. They're kind of like got that. Uh, cell shaded look to them. Yeah. I don't know if that's the how they describe it exactly. They're going. These are going to age well. It's going to last for a long time. Yeah. This is not what's selling the game to you. It, no. It's all about the combat. It's all about the combat. Yeah. 
Okay, so we don't, I don't think we have to spend any more time on the graphics. No. We will have shown gameplay anyway, so yep. you guys will have seen that, and I think most people will probably agree. Music and sound, and when we talk about that, we talk about any voice acting. I literally have seen almost zero of this game, yep. so I have no idea. Music and sound, you're, you're not getting the game for that. It, it really, I can't even register any of the music in my head other than in my apartment. After every mission, you, you, go, you back go back to your, re, your apartment there or whatever, mm -hmm. your house, and that's the music. That's the only music that's stuck in my head. I can okay. hear it now, but like it's kind of oriental. Is there it's, any like it's... pump and fight music? Or I'm sure it? there is, but I'm so into the fighting, I can't even register okay. it. If I go back and play through, or if I go back, I'm going to go back and play yeah. through it again. It might, it might kind of... Uh, I might remember, yeah. more, but I was so into the fighting this time that I can't even. I, I did the voice acting. It was whatever. It was about yeah. Yeah, there was not a whole lot of dialogue going Again, on here. Anyway, that's not why you bought the game. No, very little dialogue to begin with there, but. Why waste time on that? Put the effort into what <laughs> people want it, and yeah. clearly that's yeah. where they put it, and it was well. Yeah. It was well put. Uh, okay, so that's what he said. He's like, get through that category. Value and replayability. I will tell you this is was it a 49? I do believe it Canadian, Canadian 49, 99. 49 or 59, I can't remember. I think it was 49, but I might be wrong. Like, yeah. It'll pop it up. Our brand new games, if they're uh if it's a triple A triple A title. PS5 it's title. 89.99. Oh yeah, at least. No, uh, no, that's what they are. 99 plus tax or over hundred dollars. You're over a hundred dollars. Yeah. So I mean for that, like yeah. Wow, and then you get all that extra stuff. Yep. So, and then the replay. Oh, replay. Definitely. Even just to go back and replay it on easy would be so fun. Yeah. Like, I think people would s sit there and watch you go in. Like, if they like that style, like, yeah. if they like action like movies. Like, if I and wanted stuff to play like that, this, you would be I would to definitely sit, sit there and watch. and watch you scream and be pissed off a bit because I know this is not your genre there. This is my but genre. I might be okay at it. Yeah. You might. You might. Mm -hmm. Um,. Replayability, like, because I played through it on easy, I'm going to replay it on normal, on normal because uh, as you're going through and unlocking moves and spending those points, uh, you unlock it the first time so you can use it, and then you can unlock it permanently after that. So if you find moves, you're like, that's... Oh, okay. You, you, so, if you have a style for moves and stuff like that, like, I would permanently unlock the I weapon to, stuff. Like, I have to ask... So when you go back in, when you finish the game on easy, yep. do you have all those moves or just the ones you permanently unlock? I assume all the ones you permanently unlock. Okay. I'm not 100% sure because I, like I said, I only did my one playthrough. And how many difficulty levels? I think there's three. Okay, yeah. so easy, normal, hard. Hard, I do believe. Okay, I uh, wonder... If, if I'm wrong, you pop it up. I wonder if you beat all those levels if you unlock anything afterwards. For some reason, I thought... You I might. I, Maybe I there'll be a vengeance. I heard somebody talking about... Yeah about that but i'm yeah. not 100 percent sure so don't quote me yeah. on that but yeah i i'm from what i'm gathering there's lots of replay value there how is. long to play through well i played through on easy it was probably like seven hours okay. uh, i'm guesstimating yeah because i had i played it over a few weeks session here session there and it wasn't that long yeah each mission there's only five missions and i feel like they're probably no longer than an hour yeah depending on if you die out and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Some of the bosses are, oh my god, some of those bosses are... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think we've stated the obvious already, but yeah. ooh, tell me what your overall thoughts are. Overall thoughts, I love this game. I really yeah. did. Um, so much so that because Kung Fu is not really my preferred, like I wouldn't go watch a Kung Fu movie. Yeah. That's not my first preferred fighting style and stuff like that. But I wish they make another one here in the next few years, but it won't be like Sifu, it'll be like very... I, I wish they would take this mechanic and make it a John Wick game. Oh, that would be Where cool. Where you can implement well, guns in there too, and then the, the combat's amazing. Like, they got it right when you have that PS5 controller, you get the haptic feedback and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and I got the surround sound, like, you're, 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 there. you're hearing, yeah, you're it's very feeling immersive. everything. Uh, yeah. Like there's okay, that's awesome. Like those old, all those old martial arts movies. I wish they would always. I'm like, wish it they would make a game. It does come with a digital soundtrack, so yeah. Music. I'll probably <laughs> never play it. Yeah, well, yeah. whatever. If that's not why you bought the game, like no. you said.
My overall thoughts, if you like those kind of movies, and if you like beat-em-ups, like... You're gonna like this. Give her. The very give East her. Coast Canadian, <laughs> give her. Yeah. I didn't know that we used give her, but we, now we do. So <laughs> we do now. Thought we were a little bit classier than that, but what the fuck do I know? <laughs> we're not. Anyways, that is Scott's review of Sifu. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have played the game, or if you haven't, this has inspired you possibly to want to go play the game. Some of these, some bigger channels that I've gone and watched, because mm -hmm. I don't want to, I only would watch reviews after I play yes. games there, because I want to spoil anything. A lot of people are picking this for one of the games of the year. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.